Hi, I'm uh, Dino Mazzidi, and I'm a sales representative with Morris Lee in Vaughan. And today I'm going to be speaking to you about J.R. Smith trench drains. I'm going to focus on three systems. The polypropylene system, the polymer cement system, and the stainless steel system. So before I dive into the trench drains, uh, we need to know four things when uh, talking uh, or talking to our customers about trench drains. We need to know the application. Is it going into a car dealership or food plant? We need to know the, uh, the, the load going over the system. Is it vehicles or pedestrians? We need to know the layout of the system. Is it going to be a straight run? Is it going to have corners? Is it going to drain in the middle or is it going to drain at the end? And number four, we need to know the length which will tell us how many sections we need to accommodate the run. So uh, I'm going to start off with the uh, 9931 system. This is uh, six inches wide. It's polypropylene material. And as you can see, it uh, comes with a fabricated steel frame that is mounted on top of uh, the section. And uh, basically, the frame is used to um, even out the weight across the whole trench so all that weight doesn't sit on the grate itself. The trench drain does need uh, cement, four inches of cement poured all the way around. Uh, in order for it to secure properly, you can see there's uh, rebar tabs over here to keep the uh, system level and straight at the surface. And the frame here is designed on purpose to have this lip so that the cement can actually get underneath the frame here and also underneath the plastic rib to properly secure this so it doesn't move after the pour. It's a one meter long, really light system uh, and really easy to install. And uh, many grates are available with the system such as stainless steel, galvanized steel and ductile iron. And we also offer the uh, snap-in peg, which makes it really easy to install and remove each crate. The next system that uh, we can offer for J.R. Smith would be this system over here. This is uh, similar to the 9931, and it, we call it a 9940. It is um, six, six inches wide, polypropylene. Uh, it has uh, rebar tabs to keep the, the unit straight. It also has anchor tabs off of the side to secure into the cement. And again, the frame is designed so the, the, the cement can go underneath the, uh, the frame to properly secure it in place so it doesn't move. But the game changer here is, is that it's three meters long. This is my sample, but three meters long, which none of our competitors have. Uh, thus making the system really uh, labor friendly to install and for example if you have a 50 foot run all you need is five sections to uh, accomplish this another neat thing that J.R. Smith has done with this system is we have one bottom outlet should this be required so the distance from this tab over here to the bottom is the same from section 1 to section 15 it doesn't change we only use the one bottom outlet the Next system that we can provide uh, to, uh, that we can propose to our customer would be this unit over here, which is the 12 inch wide system. It is uh, called the 9960 polypropylene material and uh, ductile iron grating. It also has stainless steel, galvanized steel. And you use this grate to, you use this system to remove high volume of water or for uh, extra heavy duty applications such as vehicle traffic or forklift traffic. Uh, again, three meters long, which none of our competitors have. The next system that J.R. Smith can offer is the six inch wide um, polymer cement, which is known as the 9895. This system here comes with a, an integral rail that's embedded directly inside the channel. And you can also get it in uh, stainless steel or a ductile iron rail for that extra heavy duty application for a uh, car or forklift traffic. Um, it doesn't have the tabs or the anchor tabs or the rebar clips on the side, but you can use 
uh, an installation device which basically holds the, uh, the channel off of the ground and it's a pitched fork into the ground. Each channel has these ribs over here. These ribs are here by design which the cement basically fills up and it prevents it from shifting after the pour. The system is, uh, you know, offers a lot more options than the poly system in uh, width and in depth. So you can get the system in six wide, 10 wide and 14 inches wide. But more importantly, when you don't have grade to install a trench drain, we also have a 3.1 inch high uh, system that, that can accommodate the shallow grade pour. That's the polymer cement system. And the third system is the 9660, which is an all stainless steel unit. Um, this system is used in uh, food processing plants, uh, microbreweries and laboratories where uh, sanitation is of high priority and the uh, channels can accept uh, a lot of chemicals and high temperature degree water which is used to wash down the equipment after use. Again, you still need four inches of cement to go all the way around. Uh, to uh, in order for a proper install and uh, uh, available in light duty to heavy duty grading. That is the end of the presentation. Make sure to contact Morris Lee for all your trench drain needs.